hello again. Today is December 7th. December 7th it is, and we are continuing our journey of the Via Advent with our author, Sean Small. And today is day 11, uh, the story of Elizabeth. And you know, the first thing I love about this reading is the Yakov Smirnoff uh, quote, I believe laughter is a language of God. One of my favorite theologians, uh, the uh, uh, 19th century uh, theologian G.K. Chesterton talks in his book Orthodoxy about the one thing that God uh, you know, didn't allow us to see in the life of Jesus. And probably what happened whenever he went away from his disciples was, was Jesus's God's infinite and abundant laughter. Uh, and so I appreciate that same lens. Um, and I love this story today of, of Elizabeth and Zechariah. Their, their, their love for each other is so poetic, potent, earthy, real. Um, and it's just a joyous sort of thinking of, of these two characters who, you know, in the Bible are, are, you know, it's fairly straightforward. But again, this beautiful journey of unpacking a possibility of, of who they are and, um, and how they love each other. Um, and out of that love comes, uh, comes John. So it's just a delightful story of him coming home and sweeping her up and um, them going off. And, and I, I, I love the very last line of the thing. She says, what will the neighbors think? And you know, again, I, I've never asked the question, why does Elizabeth leave her home to, when she's pregnant? But you know, there's a, a potential thing here of the awkwardness of that and really wanting to relish this opportunity that she had pined and begged for for years and now it was indeed possible. I also love how um, he's able to, Zachariah is able to tell her through, you know, sign language and, and writing that the promise is, is, is going to be fulfilled and she believes him. And, and, and that, that's when the laughter begins. It says that is when the laughter first began. And, and she continues to laugh in this celebration of God's crazy abundant joy and mystery and grace in our lives. And I wonder, you know, it's so easy to get caught up in the negatives of life. And I think the invitation is to remember, even in the midst of those negatives, the abundance of God that is all around us. Uh, like we just celebrated Thanksgiving recently. Um, how do we remember that God's presence is with us and laugh uh, as well as acknowledge our sorrow, but then find opportunities to balance that with the abundance that is always around us? Let's pray. There are so many desires and dreams the Spirit has planted within my heart, ideas and requests that could only be birthed by the planting of a divine seed. All you want is me to seek the kingdom of God with all my heart, my soul, and my strength. And those desires planted by God's Spirit will spring up even if the ground looks barren. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, three in one, blessed Trinity, help me understand your Advent. Blessings. See you tomorrow.